Actually... Well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my matches thus far have been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who sold that story to the weekly magazine. I... I had no idea I felt... I feel so ashamed. However, thinking back, I do recall some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi skills, but I never I suppose I never had any. I became so conceited as a result of all those fake victories. <sighs> Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? It's as if she had a change of heart. Oh a change of heart. The Phantom Thieves? That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdropped on our conversation? Well, I'm glad her heart changed. Yes. It was painful to hear the truth, but I'm glad that my heart had a change of heart. Um... I've decided. I'm not going to lose. Lose what? Oh, sorry. I was referring to the exhibition match. I'm going through with it. As planned. However, before that, I'm going to confess everything. I know I'll receive a ton of criticism. I know I'll receive a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. This next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. All right. I would be lying if I told you that I'm not scared. My kingdom is a house of cards. I'm not sure if it can withstand a true battle. However, I intend to fight with dignity to the very end, as the queen should. There's a new move I'd like to test out for the exhibition. I look forward Will to it. Will you stay for another game? Please come with at me with all you have. I'll start. That is, if you can get past the valiant knights who guard my Togo kingdom. Until next time. Um, it's me. Uh, may I have a little bit of your time? I was just a little curious about your thoughts regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches, that is. I support it. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. You're the reason I managed to make that decision, after all. Our talks helped me realize I should play with the utmost sincerity. Oh, I'm sorry, I only wanted to convey my gratitude for you. I must prepare for my exhibition match, so I'll be going now. I'll see you at the church. Is something the matter? So what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It's nothing really major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, Aiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa is not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know. He says it because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. Hmm. What do you think, Reginald Kun? He says that to all his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way, he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But... But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, uh, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too pissed to... 
He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only one. one. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be the only one in... I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school though. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna go to college. <laughs> I know. You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not gonna help me. Ugh, just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. <laughs> I go, wait. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been sending has been texting me almost constantly. Recently he's been asking if my sister and I live alone and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Tsukasa's just so nice that he's he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. <sighs> Tsukasa is all she has. You know, I think she's actually... You know... I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually... Aiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? Well, absolutely. Thank you very much. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Aiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But... But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. All right. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. <sighs> what is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. <laughs> wow, the ocean is so pretty. Look, there's a cute little ship over there and a factory over there. Oh, isn't this just wonderful, Crime Boy Kun? Going on a date is so much fun. Yeah, totally. I'm 
so glad that you're such an attentive boyfriend, Crime Boy Kun. Hmm. Then again, I don't think the chief could come all this way just to spy on me. Well, I told him you're my boyfriend, so I guess I'll use this date as evidence. So come on, act like a boyfriend. Don't forget to keep feeding me the info too. <sighs> God, what's happened to me? Taking a seaside stroll with one of my informants? I bet my mom would cry if I went back to the country. Thanks a bunch. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Who's that kid? She's amazing! That's the king. Oh, I've heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must still be in grade school. He's dual wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. That's still too easy for him. Phew. Well, I guess that's it. What a monster. What do you want? Uh, teach me some tricks. Nah, sounds like too much work. Don't take it personal. I turn everyone down later. There isn't an annoying player. Annoying, huh? Do you mean that guy who cheats? It really makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. Bothering someone. Uh huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So you're saying you want to beat the cheater? You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? Saw their first su success? <laughs> oh, you mean at Children Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um, teaching you how to play gun about won't be too easy. I won't get anything out of it. Make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the Phantom Thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? Let's do it. Huh? Well, seriously? Well, if you really want that much, then Phew. I thought for sure you were just gonna give up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. The Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? What's your name? Huh? You're gonna tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Hey! Tell the Phantom Thieves my name, and have them post it somewhere only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as my as an autograph and proof that you they know my name. So, did he tell you how to take down that cheater? No. He's going to, on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away though. That's where you come in. Maybe you, you should, you could hack into the gun about server and do something. Hmm? But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. Leave evidence of your hacking. Hmm. That'd be easy, but is he really gonna believe that? Okay, I'll write a calling card saying that you're, we're going to steal the gun about homepage. After that, you'll need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. King will have no choice but to believe it was really us. <laughs> this sounds like fun. I'll put our logo smack dab at the front of the front page. Top of the front page. Perfect! We'll go see the king. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him. So wait for our word to start the hack. Alright! Alright, you can count on me. Hey! The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Futaba to do the hacking? I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. 
Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Ah, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is... is this for real? I mean, you can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange. Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I wish I was able to talk with them or something, though. But you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Ugh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. The king's swearing up a storm today. That's what happens when he teams up with another player, and why everyone also watches him from a distance. All right, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, I can teach you a few other moves, too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. The deal? According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? I am the with the... earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Hey! I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so... Sure. Cool. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you in gun about. Bye. See you later, crime boy son. Ah, oh, this feels wonderful. It's been a while. A while, huh? Years. I used to frequent one when I was younger. So, of course, these days I'm the Detective Prince, but my family situation was, well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. You've been through a lot. It's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. The only one who deserves blame is my father. 
a worthless degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I wanted to force him to finally give her the apology he owes her, but that's no longer possible. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for our conversation to get so depressing. Actually, you... are you alright? I, I know the hot water can make people dizzy. Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> I'm still good to go too. I feel like I'm barely starting to feel warmed up. Hmm? Ah, that was quite that's, nice. That's refreshing. These really taste the best when you're just out of the bath. Ugh, I think I feel a little lightheaded. Same. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Your face is bright red, you know. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever taken a bath like this. I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. I wonder why I told you. <laughs> Curious indeed. Because we're similar. <laughs> now that you mention it, maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're both victims of the adults who unfairly impacted our lives. I think you're right. <laughs> yes, I'm even more sure of that after having talked to you, with you. Then again, this probably isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed, shall we? My skin still feels like it's radiating heat. Next time, let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the bays, right? Although, we could always see who changes faster. First to leave wins. Are you ready? Goodbye then. Hey. Between the delicious coffee and the bath, I finally managed to relax, so thank you. It's nice to spend the day as Goro Akechi for once, rather than the Detective Prince, you know? I don't know if it's because of the whole Prince image, but everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's really nothing like that, but people always seem to, un to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today, perhaps they'd say I wasn't acting like the Detective Prince. Oh, my bad, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean for that to sound negative. I'm sorry if I offended. If anything, I envy you. You fit right in with the Vetro vibe back there. Honestly, though, I just can't figure you out, no matter how I try. You and I have common ground in some aspects, but in others, we're total opposites. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. Ah, now I'm veering into strange territory. I, I should let you go for now. See you. Hey, um... I was going to buy an air conditioner, but now that I'm actually here, I'm having second thoughts. I've never liked air conditioners much. They make me too cold. But the hum of an electric fan bothers me. It makes me so hard- it makes it so hard to concentrate on my strategy books. I'm sorry I'm holding us up. Let's take your time! Thank you very much. Take your time. Thank you. Still, I shouldn't indulge my indecisiveness too much. That could turn into a terrible weakness in Shogi. I shall try to reach an answer soon. Hey. Reginald, what a coincidence. And she is? Hmm. Where do I know you from? You're Kitakawa-kun, from the art track, yes? I'm Hifumi Toko. I go to Kosei, as well. Togo. Ah, the professional shogi player. I'm Yusuke Katagawa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Did you two also come to bask in the cool air? No, he's helping me pick out an air conditioner. Katagawa-kun, are you here because... 
my dorm is a burning hellscape. Thus, the clear solution was to find a place of more comfort, so that my cre so that my creativity might flow once more. Why not just strip? I see. Yes, a most ingenious idea, but I fear it wouldn't be wise to do so here. My funds are wholly devoted to acquiring more art supplies, yet this interminable heat has dulled my creative edge. Here, I may enjoy the Here I may enjoy the cooling breeze and find inspiration in next generation technology. What more could I ask for? I see. You make a compelling case, Kitagawa Ken. Oh? So you understand as well, Togo-san. With a single swing, the blade of creativity may cleave through all adversary. With a single swing, the blade of creativity may cleave through all adversity. Whether wielded in a painter's hand or a tactician's, what's important is that the blade is guided by righteous valor. A bit eccentric, isn't she? That's good, right? You think so? Indeed. But you have such a firm, personalized view of the world. Yes, I dare say it's a wonderful thing. Is something wrong with you? No, nothing in particular. By the way, Toko-san, have you settled on an... Have you settled on an air conditioner? No, I'm trying to decide between an air conditioner and an electric fan. Between the two, I'd prefer an electric fan, but the noise would still bother me. I did see an electric fan that functioned with no blades. Perhaps that would suffice? A bladeless what? fan? I saw a tower I saw a tower fan where the tower was hollow yet air was still flowing out of it. Technology has truly come a long way. That sells it. I'll go with that one then. With such revolutionary technology, I may be driven to create innovative new stratagems. I'm glad I was able to assist. If I might ask, what do you plan to do with your old electric fan? I would be happy to take it off your hands. Huh? Oh? Another acquaintance of yours? You're very well connected, Crime Boy Gun. Ah, if it isn't Mifune Song, she's an accomplished fortune teller. Fascinating. What kinds of fortunes does she tell? She knows everything. That's wrong. Well, not everything. And without my tarot cards, I can't divine much anyway. But, oh, but I can tell a little bit based on our your personal aura. Ah, I see. The two of you seem to bear a very interesting connection with Crime Boy Son. It's somewhat different from ordinary friendship. I sense quite an unusual bond indeed. I see. Well, you aren't wrong there. Yes, that sounds about right. You really are a mysterious person. Their stars burned with such intensity. What strange destiny could draw them together? By the way, Mifune-san, why are you here? Oh, right. I was looking for a replacement for my old electric fan. I know the worst of the heat is past, but I can't make it through these Tokyo summers without one. What a coincidence. That's what I was looking for, too. These two were just helping me decide what model to buy. Is this? My goodness, another strange coincidence. Perhaps the fates conspired to put us all here. Now we can pursue the bladeless fans together, yes? Huh? Bladeless? <laughs> How is it a fan supposed to blow air with no blades? I'm not that gullible. Seeing is believing. Shall we go inspect it for ourselves? What? What in tarnation? Hmm. 
I'm wicked full. How was the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm gonna be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Hmm. Did it taste the same as you remember it? Yep. I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right! Oh yeah! The first episode of this brand new anime I was I wanna watch is airing tonight! I'm out of here! <laughs> Eyes in front of Eyes in front when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran head first into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. Oh crap, it's gonna start. Making like a leaf and... Dad, yeah, screw it. Bye. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And what about you? Think I'm addicted. <laughs> really? I guess you have really good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Well, now then. There's something I should probably tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized by now, but that was genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the most last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed at, over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> she wasn't normal, huh? You could probably get a good idea just from looking at Futaba. Wakabo was like the adult version of that. It was almost impossible to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba rejected me time and time again, but there was one instance I managed to surprise her, and that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The, la the very next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. Then, just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She had used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then, after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories too. But that curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why I took her in. I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. Really paid it off in the end. Yeah, felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily... Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even thought... I never even told her about my love of coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though. She already had Futaba by then, after all. This might seem like an old curry to most people, but there are lots of emotions crammed inside. So, uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. That's enough of this for tonight. Things are g 
getting downright sappy in here. <laughs> Futaba's waiting for me at home too, so I should probably be heading back. The rest is on you. Make sure you clean up before you go to bed. Hey, it's me. You finished cleaning up? Wakaba's still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her as happy... Uh, seeing her so happy now makes me glad that I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. Yeah, she needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. Well, Futaba's still growing. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she gets vitamins that Curry can't give her. But man, the expression on Futaba's face when she took a bite of that Curry. Eh, uh, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick with Curry as a staple, but I can sneak in some veggies here and there. <laughs> Guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, oh, crap. I talk too much. I'll see you later, I guess. Yes. Hey, what's Akechi up to? He's in hiding now that everyone turned against him. Public opinion has truly flipped between him and us, but I doubt he's given up. And if we don't hurry, the public will turn against us next. There are already signs of that. Then let's move. We can't go wasting our popularity. I'd like to stop my father as well, for everyone's sake. Considering Haru's circumstances, we must follow through with this. I'm sorry. Sorry for keep coming over out of the blue. You must have a real knack for coffee, Crime Boy Kun. This is fantastic. Another cup? Thanks, but I think I'll pass for today. You see... It's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately, thanks in no small part to you, but I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate if you'd help me talk through this again. Do that. Thank you. Thank you're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. <sighs> but because of that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes good, great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Isn't that enough? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone, but I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world, and there's only so much one inv individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, I... Deep down, I... I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions. I want to help more people offer, overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help, desperately. 
but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So give up. Yeah, that'd probably be easier. Unfortunately, I've never been great at giving up when I should. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root cause of their pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Ah, let me put it this way. Counseling makes... Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. More importantly, what is this Momentos? It's almost... It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as the collection collective unconscious. No, never mind that. You wouldn't understand that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human compatibility. Huh? Fine boy Kun? Did I say something wrong? What if they're connected? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Sure, they can connect, but... No, wait. Oh, you're right! My god, you're right! That's it, Crime Boy Kun! The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to content of science, too. Calm down. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> but I think you've just helped me make a major breakthrough. I think this means something big for my cognitive science research. I need to hurry and get this down in my paper. I knew it'd be worth bringing it to you. Thank you, Crime Bike. I, I swear I'll repay you for this. All right then. Well, I need to get going. See. You. Crybicon? Sorry for uh, rushing out. So suddenly, eat earlier. Calm down. Sorry, I ended up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. I'm so out of shape though. Gotta do something about that. A anyhow, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is to focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake, too. But seriously, thank you. Bye. Hmm. Our next promise on the list is go to school, right? Pretty hard stuff for the second boss. It's gonna be even harder knowing there are people there too. All right, well, let's do it. Ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Huh? You're going to school? Oh, um, never mind. Just go have some fun. <laughs> Here we are, school. I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. Huh? But what are you doing here? Um, well... I see. A promise list. Like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um... 
Can I use a Gohoam instead? Let's do this together. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students have already left, and all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible! If I've got you two with me, this place is gonna be as easy as fighting a trash mob! I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on, I'll show you around the school. Um... This is a cafeteria where some students choose to eat lunch. Uh, lunch? That reminds me of this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, and this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. I didn't notice because they're both red. It was really gross. Um, anyway, the cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? L let's move on. Um... This is the school library. We have all the regular academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, study guides, but we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some especially vocal students. So many books! Do you like to read, Futaba? Uh. Mm -hmm. Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on the shelf in just one glance. The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then when I recited all the titles to prove it, they just laughed and called me a freak. Am I, re am I weird, Reginald? No, you're talented. I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Ugh, school is the worst. Well, should we move along? Uh, only the classrooms remain. Uh, though, on second thought, maybe we should pass on those for today. <sighs> Shall we head back to the entrance? <sighs> I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? I think it's cute. Huh? What kind of weird fetish stuff are you into, Reginald? But... Honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You would never have gotten so f worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step toward changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great. Right, Reginald Kun? A new discovery. So you're happy with me even though I got totally depressed? Is this like that saying about when life gives you lemons? Maybe I could make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves. Uh, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. <laughs> ah, yeah! All right. I'm sure you would have... I'm sure you would make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing! Alright! I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done! Okay, going Anyways, home! Let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for, din for dinner? How about curry? Okay. Hoi! Thanks a bunch for showing me around school today. Feeling crazy fulfilled, but also super tired, TBH. I can't believe everyone run such a high-level dungeon every single day.
can't believe everyone runs such a high-level dungeon every single day. You guys really are OP. I get the sense I'll level up faster if I stay close to you, but... I still think I'd run out of MP way too fast. The real world is a scary place. I'll help you anytime. Really? But I still gotta work on it, huh? So much for taking it easy on me. Ugh. But I do feel like I'm making a lot of progress thanks to you, Reginald. I'm gonna keep going at my own pace for my own for my next goal too. Gotta focus on healing when you need it. Gotta focus on healing when you need to, right? And I can't just keep getting carried through all this. I'll learn how to fend for myself. Okay, later. Ah, you're back. There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us! Damn, I'm glad we're famous! But it's highly probable they'll prob they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. It's an online broadcast of the match. The, the announcers are commenting on the gameplay. Is this the end of the road for the phony princess? She's getting pushed back quite a bit. It's only a matter of time now. Fumi is biting her lip. She doesn't seem to be going doing so well. Ugh, no, that was a masterful play. Perhaps her skills are the genuine article. Oh no, that's not good. The next move will surely result in checkmate. Fumi looks troubled as she's being pushed around the board. She doesn't, hasn't been, made a move. I'm thinking phony princess, real defeat, as the headline for our next article. I can see. <sighs> I was utterly destroyed out there. It was as if an ant had challenged an elephant. A shogi player should know her limits. <sighs> that was the first time I have ever forfeited a match. I was so ashamed of myself. I didn't want to hurt pieces any longer. A very queenly decision. You remembered. One must concede defeat with grace, maintaining dignity until the very end, as a queen should. But I confess I was confused. I mean, naturally I am disappointed that I lost, but I still feel happy. As if a demon has been purged from me. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange peace. What's important is what I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can just do it as an example of what not to do. <laughs> understand that there are times which require one of forfeit with valor and grace. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while. Let's make today our fi your last lesson. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. So this is goodbye. I want to become stronger. The things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from that ambitious nature of yours. <laughs> if that is what you wish, then prepare yourself. Your training will be quite intensive. There may be things I can learn from you as well. 
I suppose this is a friendly rivalry for both of us. An irreplaceable shogi friends. As irreplaceable shogi friends. Let's go home. Thank you so much for today. I've been thinking this entire time about how things would have been if I'd kept playing shogi according to my mother's strategy. I could have enjoyed a transient, empty success, but when I looked two, three moves ahead, I saw myself in incessant hell, playing a purgatorial pyric shogi, unable to ever win or lose. I probably would have ended up hating Shogi, perhaps even given up on life. That's why I can say with certainty. Today's loss was not a setback, but a glorious step forward. Let's win the next one! Yes, I was just thinking the same thing. It is so encouraging to have someone who truly understands me. I'm so happy. Alright, I should go. but. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. <laughs> it looks kind of worn out, but I think it should still work. Okay, okay. Game start. All right. Here it goes. Let's so get moving. Hmm. Huh? What? A block into low punch combo was that intentional dang you're good come on it's the final round let's do it uh, i can't believe you actually kind of read my air combo are you some kind of god or something I'm not gonna let you quit when you're ahead. This next round's totally gonna be mine. <laughs> hey. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? I heard you met with Kuramoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? And to think that he's the candidate the party is backing to ruin my chances of winning. I'll be completely straight with you, since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. We're currently fighting the Kuramoto group. What? You're fighting with Kura Mr. Kuramoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. All the more, now that he's secretly working with Diet members from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Hmm. They want to keep you on a leash, so you won't reveal any damaging information. The real culprit of the expense misappropriation case we were blamed for is the old man Kirimoto. What in the world? What did you say? I searched through the party's off-the-record accounts from 20 years ago. There's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? It seems he brought... Seems he bought his popularity, and as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. It sounds like if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name, and so you need an answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? His own grandson has already tried to persuade you, therefore I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good Tora behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and 
take my revenge against Mr. Kirimoto, but drop out of the election. Are you going to do it? Hmm. It's a good deal if I think about the future. However, Matsushita, I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that, I stand firm. This information would be the deciding factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so subtly. I'll talk to the party and provide support for your next speech against the Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there, on a grand stage. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kirimoto group's influence diminishes. Prime Boy Cut. Don't speak a word of this to anyone, for both our sakes. Very well, then. <sighs> Feels like I'm caught in the crossfire of a political conspiracy. My friend is trying to take advantage of me, while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my dream, I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? your beliefs. Yes, you're right. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters, which also means betraying you. For some reason, just talking with you always helps me make up my mind. It's as if my heart is being manipulated. Mm. Perhaps. If the Phantom Thieves truly do exist, then I'm sure they're very much like you. For some reason, you stood by me. No good Torah who don't have any supporters. Actually. I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. And the strength to stand up to the hecklers, to Matsushita, and, the Kurum and to Kurumoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Would you care to talk about it? What good would that do? <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. Think of it as an advanced tactic for winning people over. Alright. You're right. Well, I'll at least make good use of Matsushita's help setting up my next speech. I feel like I'll be able to fully express my beliefs if you're there with me. I shall ask you again another time. Well then, I'll see you again. Thank you for tagging along today. <laughs> Goodness, I've gotten you wrapped up in my whole messy past now. I told you before, becoming a Diet member shouldn't be your only goal in life. I still stand by those words, of course, but what are your thoughts on what happened today? Say you were in my shoes. Could you say with all confidence that you wouldn't be swayed by such a lucrative deal? Humans are easily swayed. One glimpse of a temptation could be all it takes to make us forget our principles. That is why you must never forget what's truly important to you. Understand? I'll never forget that. Good. Life is full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. Well, the real battle begins now. 
I need to devote myself to this fully. After all, I can hardly afford to disappoint you. Alright, see you next time. I'll be counting on you. Crime Boy Senpai, thank you so much. What are you, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. I just got out of that meet I was talking to you about, and my routine was the best I've ever given so far. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Well, I didn't do anything. You're the reason I've come so far, Senpai. You've helped me so much, even with the mundane things. I just can't thank you enough. Please, I just want to thank you again. As soon as I get the results, I'll let you know. So I'll be messaging you again sometime soon. Now, I'd better get going. Have a good night. You bastard! What the? You made the whole same mistake last time. What are you doing? Don't you get it? You can't just shoot all over the place. He's so awesome at that game. Yeah, but he's got such a bad attitude. It's like he's bipolar. I wonder how long that high schooler is gonna be able to keep up. Ugh, no, not like that. You haven't gotten better at all. What? What are you gonna learn? Phew. It's really late. Thanks to you taking so long to figure it out. Don't compare me to you. Yeah, you're right. Hey. I've always been good at shooting games, but I absolutely never want to lose that gun about. So I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. It's time for all the elementary school kids to go home. Do you understand, little boy? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, all right? Oh. What a rude employee. Seriously, I really wanted to keep playing. My house is so boring. No one's ever there, and there's never anything to do. Adults and high schoolers are so lucky, they get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. I wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I'd never lose another game. I need to get really strong, like the Phantom Thieves. You admire them? Of course I do. I want to be just as strong as they are. I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strengths. I'll let them know. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks. Seriously, though, I can't stop thinking about that employee. He was super annoying, huh? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. The one I taught you, remember? You should use it sometime. All right. It's just a move in the game, so it won't work against actual people. I wish it did, then I'd be strong in real life. I need to be able to win in real life. I'm gonna head home. Later! Oh, hello, Crime boy son. It's me, Shinya Oda. I was worried, so I was bored, so I thought I'd call. I forgot to mention earlier, but you gotta keep practicing even on single player, okay? Everyone sucks at first, but you can get good if you do it every day. I'll work hard. You better. You're supposed to be the adult here. I'm practicing a lot too. I want to get as strong as the fan of thieves. Oh, my mom came home. I gotta hang up. Bye.
gotta say, it looks like everything's coming up roses now that Haru's on our side. Hmm? But flowers die in autumn, do they not? And ignore. How about you, Haru? Have you gotten used to all of this yet? Yes, thanks to all of you. Just chatting like this is great. I never really had a chance to do such things until now. This isn't the time for me to do... This isn't the time for me to be enjoying myself, though. Don't worry about it. This class is boring as shit anyways. You know I'm reading this, right? Here we go again. Haru, one's personal resolve paves new paths. It was the same circumstance for me. Regardless, about two weeks and Regardless, about two weeks remain. We should stay on guard. Well, shall we begin? Let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these Phantom Thieves of Hearts. The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest in them. Are you a fan? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. I'd love to sit down and talk with one of them. I just get the feeling the Phantom Thieves' work and my own research are rooted in the same principles. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. For example, there's the matter of their methods. According to those calling cards they send out, their stated method is to steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas, Crime Boy Cunt? As in, removing them? Hmm, removing them. As if they're something material rather than abstract? So they'd be stealing desires by taking some tangible form of them? Well, in that case, I suppose it'd be possible if you could find some physical proxy for human desires. Say, Crime Boy Cunt. Do you remember that story with the cookies? In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. I think we can look at this in the same way. They're not something easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. But another way, if that desire is gone. Put another way. If that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookies skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? The change of heart? Right. That's right. The Phantom Thieves' own change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't know exactly how they steal those desires, of course, but if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it will logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of intangibles, that, let's say, a world composed of the contents of people's hearts, well, they're thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, Crime Boy Gun, you think I'm getting anywhere here? It's intriguing. You think so too, Crime Boy Gun. If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. Then again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves ourselves. I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you. All right. Now, today's mental training technique, how about something like this? Well, see you. Ah, you're back. Ah, thanks. Oh, 
Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> All I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation, followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Yeah, to each his own. That's a real roundabout way, but of dis That's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed especially aggressive today, huh? It would have been bad if she pushed any farther. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. <clears throat> you just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just learned something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? He would, he, we could always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere lo legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him and his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a little delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Taba. Now does it? Shut your mouth. You have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Hey, keep your neck out of this. Just get on. Just get on upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger! <sighs> Tvutabachan, long time no see. I. 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 Futaba! See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck! This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. Well, I hope you reached the right decision. Bye now. Futaba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. So, Jarell. <sighs> Futaba's okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. After Wakaba died, Futaba was passed around all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. I couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed, but now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake. <sighs> Thanks, I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way though, it's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just don't- I just didn't know how to help her through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So, if 
you asked me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be the best for Tr Fr I wonder what would be the best for Tr Futaba. Sorry. Look at me, spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though, it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. Alright. It's already pretty late. I'm going home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't work don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh, and thanks. Futaba's fast asleep. Didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. But dude, if I can help somehow... No, you you don't have to do anything. The fact that you asked is enough. Man, though, I never n know what I'm going... <laughs> Man, though, I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. Just must be going senile, huh? Anyway, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with it. You just keep looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are really handing it off, so... That's all I had to say. Don't forget to lock up before bed. Later. Hey there. Good morning to you. Hmm. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at a different time every now and then. <laughs> Running late? <laughs> y you caught me. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So, I was offering to help carry their things, but then my back made this sound that it shouldn't make. I know. Well, anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshizawa-san? <laughs> I'm so happy for her. It makes me feel like doing my best, too. Of course, as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then. Let's do our best for today, shall we? Do you have a minute? Begin the infiltration! Keep your head in the game! Um... <laughs> By the way, you seemed real fired up back when we first met. Was that an act Mona put you up to? You know, the beauty thingy? That was... um... I was trying to be a heroine of justice. Uh, is that a joke? You moron! Ever since I was young, people around me have never seen me for who I really am. They would be kind to me just to please my father. Adults, teachers, even friends. It seemed like everyone smiled at me for their own personal gain. That's why you kept the details of your family a secret at school. But the female superheroes I used to see on TV were so great! They always fought for others, not themselves, and they were always happy. I wanted to be just like that! Even though I knew it was a fantasy, I still looked up to them. Everyone goes wild over heroes at some point. It's fine having someone like that on our side, right Joker? Of course. What are you doing here? This is insane on so many levels. I thought I told you not to associate with vulgar people. That bastard. Him? Did he come into the palace too? No. He might look the same, but that isn't the real person. Remember what I explained to you earlier? 
You mean about the cognition thing? What are you mumbling about? Do you recall what I said before? That I would do my best for you. This is my answer to that. Are those... the rumored phantom thieves? I see. You're handing them over to me as a plea for forgiveness. Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. You truly embody the Okumura motto. Very well, join me. Why do you only ever think about gains and losses? That's why the company has a bad reputation. All because you treat people like they're tools! To gain, you must give. One must be resolved to give even more if they wish to stand above others. We are on vastly different levels. And soon, I will rise to a new stage. The political world. The cold reality of kicking people down is a part of business. Virtue and sentiment are for losers. <laughs> Okumura Foods shall be the foundation of my victory. His company is just a stepping stone. Mr. Okumura, we don't need a girl who's been soiled by thieves, unless you make some compromises. I can't introduce her to my father. She needn't be your lawful wife anymore. Take her as your lover or whatever it is you desire. Very well. I accept. Lover? I was raised under this company's wealth. I even accepted a political marriage for you. This is not what we discussed! to be that man's plaything just to satisfy your own ambitions? <laughs> Why fret? You should be overjoyed that you're fulfilling your role as an Okumura daughter. This is the only value you've had from the very beginning. So, even his own daughter's life is a commodity to him. I... Now, why don't you come to my place? Let's have fun. I'll play with you until I get bored. A high school fiance <laughs> wouldn't turn on. So vulgar. No! Haru's persona won't stand a chance against that. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> she had to awaken to her real power. That's all. <laughs> I see you finally made up your mind, my dear faded princess. Freedom for you must stem from betrayal. If you still yearn for it now, then you must not err. Now tell me, who shall you betray? My heart has been set. You should know. Yes, that gaze! I can finally display my true strength! I am thou, thou art I! Let us adorn your departure into freedom with the beautiful huh? trail! Jeez! Farewell, dear father! I am no longer your subservient puppet! Then so be it. You're worthless. Hm. Deal with them how you wish. You poor thing. I'll toy with you until you break. I don't expect you to come to reason at all. Uh-huh. We should have just told you this from the start, asshat. We are the Phantom Thieves, here to take your bride! Thieves who steal from others need to be severely punished. How do be a good girl. Come, be my toy. 
I have no intentions of talking to you. For the sake of changing my father's heart, I cannot lose! So this is Haru's true power. Haru? All right, let's do this. Time to pummel that scummy jerk. Now, surround him! Time to punch them! Beat him up! Wasn't that graceful? I did it! I did it, Monachan! What were you saying about her persona being weak? Are you sure you taught her how things work in here? I did. Or so I thought. What's the point if she doesn't get it? Don't worry. Cognitive beings have no correlation to their real-world counterparts. You'll see when we get back. I guarantee he will be okay. Then he's not dead? That's right. Dude, does this mean we got a new teammate? Good to have ya. Uh... She already has a code name. You can call me Noir. Noir? It means black in French. I'd like to be a heroine of justice, but the Phantom Thieves are on the darker side of the law. I chose the name Noir to remind me of that. There you have it. As long as she's into it. She created quite an elaborate backstory. Noir? I like it. It conveys a dignity that won't bow down to others, as well as a rebellious spirit towards society. Thank you. Don't let your guard down, Noir. Our trip through the palace doesn't end until we steal the treasure, after all. Yes, sir! Someone's talking all big again. Yes, we found it! This is it! But we haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he's hiding it. We got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? That plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Okay. Uh, you know the whole kerfuffle between you and Mona? Do you really gotta bring up that again? It's all good. It was because of your fight that we met Haru after all. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to do this without your help. No, it is not the time to thank us. The finishing touch still remains. The calling card, right? What do I need to do? Reginald will decide when we send it. Once we do once he does that, we'll meet up and discuss the details. I'll prepare myself for that. I'll leave it to your capable hands, Grandpa. This is Haru's first mission, and we're going after her father. Give word when you're ready. Um, I'm looking for a book that contains an analysis of a certain game of shoji. I must be ready for any opponent, so no matter how strong, and to do that, I must study as soon as as much as I can. But look at all these bugs. It's not going to be easy to find. Leave it to me. Are you good at tracking things down? Well then. Very well. I'll rely on you. I think it will be successful if we work together. Rather than search blindly, we should study the shelves and come up with a strategy. First, let's get an idea of how books are arranged here. Is it by the title or by author? Take a good look around the store to fully understand the layout. I'd also like to find a book about shogi problems as well. I'll explain while we search. I look forward to no, it. If we approach this methodically, we'll find them. I appreciate your assistance. Um... The clerk gave me a gift. It's quite a lovely ornament. Perhaps it would look nice in your room. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, I'm the first one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, 
This may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. Need some? Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Mona-chan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great! Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Oh, yeah! I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace. But I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it. But I don't think you'd like them. Hmm. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. Sounds like fun. <sighs> in any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. All right, let's do this. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? Right. All right. No staying up late tonight, then. We can laugh or cry all we want. But we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Things are... Things are getting really scary online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that! Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this segment has definitely piqued the in public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around. It don't make sense. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. 
Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Hm. From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru were right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure! Treasure! Looks like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. I... I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father... Haru, you were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Ah, oh, yes. Do you remember, Haru? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly, you had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? 
Forgive me, Haru, but I would never last if my treasure was stolen. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Father, let's... Let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. What? Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? What happiness can be found through profit, gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than fail. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm. To the upper echelons of the world. To Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. Make your decision, Haru. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? You fool. Noir! What about you there? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? Huh. So you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once we take off. So, do we have a deal? I'll give you ten seconds. Time is money after all. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 <sighs> years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa, it hit! Ha, way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, Mona! It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so show, man! <laughs> Father... So much for the negotiation. <laughs> you rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all! Very well, then. Bring it! You little! You won't get out alive! This is the power of the people of foods! You're trapped. Give it up. Just one more in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiance and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end for Akuma Foods. Forgive me, Haru. Father. <laughs> you were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? I admit I spent large sums of money to help my company grow and to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally. I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us! Warning! Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. 
We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there! We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? We don't got time to get that out of him! We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Panther! Shouldn't we bring Father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. It? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible. We're counting on you, Mona. Still pounding. Uh, we did a great job in there. You know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Oh? The truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Hmm. Mom. Is this... His treasure... was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember Father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get like a thousand of those kits though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations. But it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. That must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still... People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, when exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the Phantom Thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? 
Come on, I've known you long enough. No need to be modest. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like... a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? That too, eventually. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. In other words, our goals are in alignment. From now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. You'd better put some effort in too. Don't make me regret my choice. All right. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Well then. Thank you so much for today, everyone. Likewise. You must surely be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Hey, we should talk about Haru's welcome party. Didn't we just say we would let her rest, you dimwit? I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay. I promise. As long as you're okay, Haru. Well, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. You mean the Shushin School Festival? I must admit, I am interested in it as well. It's settled. That reminds me, we still haven't failed on a guest. A guest? Like some kind of celebrity? Wait, does that mean the fan of these could be one of the candidates? How about that? <laughs> Wanna show up? That's a bit over the top. You're getting way too carried away with this. Don't such strange things. What a shuttle idea. Oh, a four-hit combo! Sorry. Ah! Oh. So this is a slave thing. The decor is bizarrely cheery for such a horrid place. I'm surprised one was operating in the heart of the city like this. I had originally thought such places would need to hide in the shadows, far from public scrutiny. Welcome home! Are you addressing me? You are sorely mistaken about who is your master. We come to... We come here to observe fully, Justine. Don't worry, we'll free her when we're finished. Hey, you! Yes, master? Tell me. Why are you grinning like that? You're a slave. Huh? A slave? Whatever do you mean, master? Maybe you're ordered to... Maybe you're ordered to smile? But what? Do you lack a will of rebellion? Or are you just naturally submissive? Well, uh, master... I don't know. <sighs> what is with this insufferable... Hey, inmate, do you really think you'd get proper rehabilitation here? Yeah, you get used to it. Huh. So you're saying you're learning how it feels to be a slave? Huh. I don't like the sound of that at all. Caroline. Calm yourself, Caroline. Aw, aren't you just the cutest? Watch it. You think la laughing at your masters is proper discipline? Oh. Now I get it. You're here for the discipline service, is that it? Then listen up, you little shrimp. What? Quit gawking at me in order already. You want to get jacked with some of those that tiny little shrimp forks? Out with it. She's thrown off the yoke of impression. What did I just say? Order. Or do you need a menu? If you need to even read it. Is that it? Widow baby, can't we the menu? <sighs> Why 
Please don't harass my kids. My goodness! Oh, was I overdoing it? Oh, whoopsie daisy. I got a bit caught up here. Here's the menu. What is wrong with her? Her mood changes in an instant. <sighs> Such versatility. Could she possess the potential for the power of the wild card? Well, never mind that. We are to focus on the matter at hand. What could this be? Love pancake? Where- what do they put in it? Nothing suspicious, I hope. They put love in it. They put love in it? How is that possible? Love isn't a physical substance. Have they been scamming you here? Let's order something else. In that case, let's go with the sincere omelette. As you wish, master. Oh, sorry about that. I messed it up. Please forgive me, master. Are you joking? How dare you? Fix this right now. You can beg for forgiveness once I for receive a perfectly sincere meal. But, but, I filled it with love. Damn it! Don't even try that fake cry act on me. Fix it, double time. I'm not letting you off until it's right. No, I, I can't. I tried so, so hard, but I'm just so clumsy. I even practiced a ton and, and... Uh, hey! How could you make this poor slave cry like that? <sighs> fine, fine, I'll, I'll say I'm sorry. Look, slave. I mean, maid. I'm sorry. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Just stop crying. <laughs> you will? Yay! Thank you so much. Would you care for some ooh hot tea to go with it? I also recommend the relaxing coffee. I promise to pour all my heart into making them for you. Fine, just bring whatever. This has been so tiresome. Even the people being served here to behave a certain... Even the people being served have to behave a certain way. I struggle to comprehend why it's so complicated. And yet, people here are willing to pay good money to partake in this master-servant charade. The lengths that humans will go to hold positions of power. Their desires truly appear to be limitless. Anyway, we hereby deem your assignment complete. Feel as though we saw a side of humanity today that was new to us. As a matter of fact, this isn't a new event to us at this point. We do seem to witness curious new facets of humanity with such spe with each special assignment we undertake. Most intriguing, indeed. Listen but up. the only thing that matters to you is your rehabilitation, and don't you forget it! Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of Mementos. 
serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't let my guard down. Well... All they did today was throw eraser crumbs into my lunch, though. So I won that round. Are they bullying you? It's a war. I'm not a defensive... I'm not on the... I'm on the defensive right now. I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I could finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that now's not the right time. Aww. It gets kind of annoying having to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the fam thieves to take care of them. Your food is here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. So that means you'll just have to try harder next time. Now eat up and get feel better. You're not mad? Of course not. You did your best and that's all that counts. Now no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. My mom's fighting with my school about how classes are taught, the way teachers treat students, the size of the classes. Hey! Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to school. She leaves really early to go to work. Then she comes home really late to take care of me. It's no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know. But all my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. When I tell them to stop, they call me I'm a mama's boy. That's how the war started. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks. Well, the Phantom Thieves would laugh at me if I lost now. But I've got a long way to go. Oh, before I forget, I need to show you something. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else about this, okay? But I'm going to show you a guaranteed way to win. Alright. I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Oh, it's kind of late. I guess I should go home. Later! Oh, thanks for that food earlier. I guess that's also kind of training, technically. We just talked a bunch about me today, so... You gotta tell me more about the Phantom Thieves next time. Maybe we can go eat something again while we're at it. Sure. Really? Well, thanks, Crime Boy San. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I went out to eat with anyone but my mom. Okay, let's go get some hamburger steak next time. It's my favorite food. Come to think of it, mom hasn't made hamburger steak in a while either. But she seems super busy, so not much I can do, I guess. Wonder if she's coming home late again tonight. Okay, bye Crime Boy San. I'll see you at the arcade. Ah, you're back. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. 
That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Mamarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. We'll be okay, Haru. Right. Hmm. I, I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. My dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked me us to here too. You know, pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you, crime boy son. I doubt he'd ever actually admit it though. By the way, um, has he said anything to you about me weighing him down? Why would he say that? To be honest, he, he's been acting super weird recently. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. But then, every time I've gone to ask him about it, he's told me there's nothing to worry about. I don't know. It just feel, it makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in after my parents died in a car crash. Apparently, he was a good friend of theirs. Honestly, I don't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me to be part of his family. He definitely does. You think so? Now that I think about it, um, have you ever seen his tattoo? The gecko on his neck. The truth is, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from my parents' car crash. Back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home to find me in tears. That's why he got that tattoo. He said it would... He said it could be the new Hawaii family crest. Oh, and I did some research on geckos. Turns out they symbolize protecting one's home and family. I had almost forgotten about that, to be honest. Maybe he cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Yo, sorry for the holdup. You two look like you're having fun. What are you even talking about? Oh, you know, <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you two a little pair of lily lady killers? Guess there are worse things you could be talking about, though. Wait, did you get a girlfriend, Karu? That's not what we were talking about. Sorry. Anyways, I can't stay, stay long. I've got errands I need to take care of. I figured it'd be nicer to be able to at least drop by instead of telling you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> that... What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Ain't that right? You should buy us something. Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Order anything you want. It's on me. Oh, okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened with that deal we were talking about. I'm going now to meet with the guy who set it all up. I'll have to fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, this is all thanks to you, kid. It's real nice having a reliable part-timer to help around the shop. Alright. Um... You're not getting yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. Well, I'm out of here. You can hang on to your wallet. You can hang on to my wallet, Karu. Eat as much as you want. See you at home. 
Okay. Hey, thanks for looking after Karu. Hey, thanks for looking after Karu. With you covering for me, I actually got some good business done too. Looks like you and Karu really hit it off. Glad to see you two getting along. He's my age, so it comes easier. That was kind of what I was hoping when I asked you to handle this. To be honest though, things went even better than I expected. Well, I uh, figured it, I was just getting some security, but I guess that's not all you're good for. He's in that age when, where he has to figure out a lot, some of which I'm sure he won't talk to me about. Kinda hoping you can help him through that kind of thing. Well, we'll talk again later. See ya. Sorry. My apologies for calling all of you here like this. Boss was even kind enough to serve us coffee before he went shopping. Now, I have a vital request. Hey! Hit me with your best shot. All the tough problems are gonna have to go to Reginald, though. Hey! <laughs> I was bad with... I can help with any subject that's not math. Hmm? Do you two honestly believe I would ask you here for help in my studies? To tell the truth. The truth is... I am planning to display my work in a competition. The one organized by Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation. You remember, yes, Reginald? I must win and prove not only my ability, but my intense passion for art as well. However, I am having quite a bit of trouble determining what my next subject should be. I have given this painting a far fair amount of thought but nothing has come to me yet. Hence, I was hoping to hear your opinions on an ideal subject. Oh yeah! How about you have the on strip? Wait! How long are you gonna keep bringing that up? Anyway, maybe you should paint something people find pretty. Hmm. So, in the end, we return to the concept of beauty. Reginald, which subject do you think would most compare beauty? Damn man, and it has to be on, dude. Hmm, I suppose she is a subject I've put great focus on in the past. But now I am aware of her true personality. I'm not sure I could paint her beautifully. Aha, that's right! Wait. What's that supposed to mean? Why can I not paint a beauty as pure as the Sayori? Where have all of my efforts gone? Hmm. You know, I'm not really sure what you mean by pure beauty. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty painting, but I'm not sure I really consider it a pure beauty or whatever. Huh? Hmm? I don't know, like... I guess it just feels more gentle to me. Honestly, I almost cried the first time I saw the Sayuri. It felt kind of like I was a baby again in my mother's arms. Watching over me, telling me everything's gonna be okay. That was the gentleness that painting made me feel. <laughs> this is coming from someone with absolutely no art knowledge though. <laughs> I see. Gentle. That is yet another aspect of Sayuri captured that I cannot. Is my heart too cloudy? No way, man! It ain't cloudy, dude! Are you sure about that? The painting used to be all my heart desired. I needed nothing else in life. <clears throat> but now, what now? I have become overwhelmed with a need to prove myself to Kawanabe. To prove myself to the world! I look down on Matarame for focusing so sharply on fame and money, yet I too yearn for the praise of others. In truth, 
truth, oftentimes I regret declining Kawanabe's offer. How could this is be? This what true? Is this what pure passion is supposed to look like? My heart is clouded by worldly desires. You've really grown, Yusuke. What? My ugliness has helped me grow? Yep, Reginald's right, dude. Ain't nothing wrong about doing your best and make a living. Yeah. And you just want someone to acknowledge your work, right? That's some serious passion. But how can passion be born from these repulsive thoughts? You think? Listen here, dude. I was totally like you back on the track team. I just wanted to prove myself to win, to get all the girls to call me shit like Sakamoto Senpai. But you know, even through all that, I was trying to help my team out. Sure, it's a solo sport, but nobody's gotta, gonna run till they puke if they don't got teammates they wanna inspire. I guess what I really wanna say is, you gotta do stuff for people beyond just yourself if you wanna succeed. I see. Is that how it is? So the sincere gentleness held within this Ayuri, the warmth of its heart, it was all for the sake of those who gaze upon it? How interesting. So that's what I you mean. see. Whoa! Wh what do you see? I have been a fool. Beauty is not the superficial thing I have long thought it to be. It is something that wells up within the heart until it breaks free. It is a gift given by a subject unto its viewer. Yes, I finally see the truth. That's very kind. The three of you have my sincerest gratitude. You have been a truly tremendous aid. E yeah. How exactly? <laughs> the time has come for my brush to meet canvas in beautiful harmony, if you'll excuse me. Man, he's acting even weirder than usual. You look pretty inspired though, so he'll be fine, right? Anyway, are you guys hungry? I might ask Boss to make me something once he gets back. Maybe curry this time. Come on, God, you eat so freaking much. Oh yeah, and what was that crap about being good at everything except math? It ain't nice to lie, you know. No! I wasn't lying, it's just really hard to get good grades at Shujin. No way, man! If you're not getting good grades, you should have known Yusuke wasn't gonna ask you to study with him. <laughs> Father has, was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him too. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after he changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there isn't more progress. I get why Haru is worried. But let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. Uh, my sandal has come undone! <laughs> it's like a dream that might end up coming true one day. I guess it's almost like hope. You get me? Man, I've already seen that one like 50 times, but the audio in the theater still impresses me. You know, sci-fi is more than just some crazy made-up baloney. It's like a dream that might end up coming true one day. I guess it's almost like a hope. You get me? 
I think so. Yeah, of huh? course. You've got potential. Thanks. In any case, thanks for chilling. Mm, this was way more fun than all those times I've seen it alone. I know. Maybe we can have... I know. Maybe we can have a foreign sci-fi marathon in your room someday. Better look forward to it. What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet, but at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical. Uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Hmm, maybe I left it in here. How did Yoshizawa-san handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Ah, uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. Huh. Talk about a waste of effort. <laughs> Sir, so, uh, pardon me, but there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh, if this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot... This is it. Uh, hello? Sempros? I'm sorry, I just now noticed 
She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Maybe she's depressed. Like the last time we met her there? It's possible. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? No connection. I should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? Atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? That's very likely. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. First, we need a way into this, that huge thing. Let's go! There, you're heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me. Let's go, Joker. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? Things ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting get perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole unbothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. 
Getting a special treatment is like, like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other girls are not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. Filling my life with this pressure. Demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am. I am. Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. Rather than accept a life from cinders, you'd strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be... Contract. The spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion! <laughs> we'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do! Dance, Persona! Show them, Sandrion! Quite impressed, considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. We can explain later. Right. Oh, we're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal, too. This was your location before you entered the Metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please. Tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Yeah, you're okay. 
I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but after seeing it all for myself... But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough, and I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana, Senpai. Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You came all this way to return this? Thank you so- You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well... I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but... I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honor status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so... I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but... I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nav? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right... Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so... I guess it's no big deal. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? Uh -huh. I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with akechi san I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? Yoshizawa, of course, considering how she did back there. Don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awaken to... My... Uh, persona, was it? I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. You may be right, but I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. 
I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. <laughs> 